Are you ready to head for Fenmont? You can't possibly land right in Rashigal's capital. You'll probably have to touch down on a high road nearby, or find some other suitable spot. Are you okay? No time to chat now, kid. <sighs> You'll pay for what you did! This is our home turf! We can't lose! Stay on guard! We're sending against the ruler of the skies. This will not be easy. Please, without the board. Hey, looky here! Hellfire! Oh, 
onward! Oh, right! We beat the king of the skies! That makes me the new ruler. Should we call you queen? <laughs> On second thought, forget it. I won't let anyone down. Children, seek shelter in your homes. All able-bodied men, to me. Ellie, what are you doing here? I'm home. Young madam. Rowan? Everyone's back? Good to see you again. Um, nice to meet you. I'm Leia. Uh, hi. I'm sorry to alarm you. I heard all the commotion. I thought Azul was invading. You okay? You took a tough hit when you saved me. Seemed like no big whoop at the time. But now, it's really hitting me. Help us carry him. Does it look like it'll heal? My lady, I'm just a horse trainer. Which makes you the most qualified to help. <sighs> Young madam, please forgive me for the heavy burden I placed upon you when I left Sheraton. Isn't that Elbert, the former chief of staff? He was a tactician for the Rashagal army, you know. Really? And he's on our side? That's great. All these rumors of war have everyone on edge lately. Let's head back to the manor before we cause any more commotion. The horse trainer says the wyverns need some time to recuperate. You all should rest here in the city while you can. That may be for the best. We're on the eve of a great battle, after all. Everyone should get as much rest as they can. Huh? What's wrong? You look as if I just spoke Long Dao. <laughs> Mila's making perfect sense. We have had little rest since our departure from La Ronde. And you could use some time to gather your thoughts. As you say. to pick my brain? You still can't bring yourself to fight against Noctical. I know he must be stopped. I know I must help stop him. I know these things as facts. And yet... Are you concerned about what would happen afterward? Yes. Things will get... complicated. Do you have any idea what a coup could mean for Rashagal? Best case scenario, mass confusion and chaos. In the worst case scenario, the nation itself will dissolve. If we reach that tipping point, I'm not so sure I could stem the tide. Somehow, I doubt you've spent all these years letting your talents go dull. Sometimes, experience is a hindrance rather than a help. I see all possible outcomes with such painful clarity that I'm unable to act. Only you can decide what to do about that. I see you have a lot of faith in me. And why not? I'm quite fond of you. To think the Lord of Spirits would say such words to me. I am not worthy. Is that sarcasm? No. It's just that at times you treat us the way a master might coddle a beloved pet. I do? Yes. So please, just think of this as the foolish pride of a lowly human. <laughs> you certainly are an adorable human. Anyway, 
Returning to the topic at hand, might I ask you to look after the others once this battle is over? They are all so young. I know Miss Elise and Miss Leia have bright futures awaiting them. Alvin concerns me, however. He is far less mature than he believes. Jude, on the other hand, he is so taken by you that he is desperately trying to become an adult as quickly as possible. Please, watch over them all. Are you planning on dying along with Noctical? Certainly not. But I need to be prepared for such an outcome. Very well. You have my word. You seem in better spirits. Our buddy Jude cheered us up. Of course he did. It's what he does. Mila? Um... Tipo, is Elise trying to tell me something? Yep, but I think she'll say it on her own. Oh, very well then. I'll wait. Let's do our best. Let's do our best to destroy the lands of Kresnik. Huh? What are you doing? I'm not sure. You're just so cute. I feel an irrational need to pinch your cheeks. Please stop! <laughs> Why so forlorn? Forlorn? You mean sad? N no, I'm I'm fine. If you say so. Hey, what's Fenmont like? I've never been out of Laronde before, so I'm kind of curious, you know. A lot of people live there, but no one really seems to know one another. I actually prefer places like your hometown, where everyone is... What's the phrase? Right? Neighborly? Huh. I guess that's just how cities are. Perhaps. Actually, something's been bothering me. May I ask you a question? Sure. Ask away. Do you have some experience with Spyrex technology? Wh why do you ask? I saw the surprised look on your face when you first heard the word Spyrex. It was a different expression than what I'm used to seeing. You're perceptive. You see, I was a really sickly kid. I spent a lot of time getting treated for my illness. It all started when I was hurt in an accident. And that accident was caused by Spyrex. Was it Exodus's doing? I don't really remember. Maybe the accident caused a bit of amnesia, or maybe I was just too little. Still, someone said that a Spyrex explosion caused the accident. That much I remember, at least. I see. Are you all better now? Oh yeah, fit as a fiddle! But it was a long road to get here. I almost gave up on my treatment a few times. I felt hopeless, like I'd never get better no matter what the doctors tried. I started to believe there was nothing anyone could do for me anymore. But every time I felt hopeless, Jude would try to cheer me up. So that's why you're here. Right. Now it's my turn to help Jude out. I'd hate it if Jude got hurt. I'd hate it if Jude couldn't become a doctor. It appears that Jude is your primary motivation. Hey! Don't read those aloud! Put that away! And don't you dare tell Jude about any of this. It's embarrassing. Embarrassing? Why? I think Jude would be happy to hear this. You humans are so confusing sometimes. <laughs> Whatever. Just promise you won't tell him. Very well. I promise. 
Funny thing, though. At a certain point, I realized that my reasons were all for myself. I wonder why I really came along. I mean, I'm just extra baggage for you guys. Even Elise carries her weight around here. You're doing your best, aren't you? You have nothing to be ashamed of. Whether you succeed or not isn't the important thing. It's whether you try. Now you sound like Jew trying to cheer me up. But you have to admit, success sure beats failure. I suppose I can't deny that. But I do think what matters most is having the will and the heart to do what must be done. You think so? Absolutely. That's what I believe, at least. Huh. For some reason, when you say it, I can't help but feel it's true. Well, nothing to do but my best, right? What are you doing out here? Shouldn't you be recovering from your injury? Maybe I'm just plotting the best way to betray you again. Hmm. At this point, I can't tell if you're joking. Ooh, ouch. That's a low blow. Drop the phony indignation. Tell me, what are your true intentions? We went over this already. I want to take care of my mother. And I believed you at first. Now, not so much. Why? You haven't severed all ties with Exodus. And yet, you've never attempted to assassinate me like the other Exodus agents. Maybe the opportunity never presented itself. Maybe I'm plotting your hit right now. That's it? You're not even gonna get mad or anything? Being murdered would be unfortunate. I wouldn't be able to protect this world anymore. Unfortunate indeed. Then get out of my face and you won't have to worry about me killing you. Truly are Maxwell, through and through. I never thought we'd end up back here again. It seems like forever ago that you were injured. Have you figured out your mission? What you must do? I... I just want to help you out. I see. But that's not all. I want to protect the spirits as well. You go to such lengths to protect humans. So it's only fair that I become strong enough to protect spirits too. Hmm. You will strive to be our protector. A bold statement. Maybe I've been wrong about humans after all. Hmm? I never imagined one of you wanting to protect our kind, let alone making it his mission. I'm almost speechless. I've never felt this happy. Now I really must destroy the Lance of Kresnik, for all our sakes.
That reminds me. What are you planning on doing after you've destroyed the Lance? Destroying the Lance and the Spyrex devices is merely one facet of my mission here. My whole reason for existing hasn't changed. So you'll return to Nia Kara and live the way you did before? Most likely. But, but with Exodus around, won't your life still be in danger? Hmm. Also likely. What you need is a bodyguard, someone to watch your back. Are you offering to stay with me? Uh... Is that possible? If that's what you decide to do, then you should do it. I'll need to create some story to keep you by my side. Really? Thank you. It's the least I can do. You're the reason I'm standing here right now, preparing to fulfill my mission. I'm the one who should be thanking you. Huh? Oh, no, you don't have to do that. We haven't even gotten to the real fight yet. <laughs> Good point. Oh, just the pair I was looking for. Your wyverns have fully recovered. Let's return to the plaza. Okay. Where's Alvin? He hasn't shown up yet. He's probably figuring out his next lie. That's not true. What does everyone else think of Alvin? Would you feel safe going into battle with him? He's just trying to help out his mom, right? I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff. I worry he himself will be unable to deal with that way of life much longer. <laughs> Don't forget, Alvin was the one who saved me from the bad guys! What do you think? We'll need to keep up our guard around him until he reveals his hand. He remains trustworthy in battle, at least. No, no, it's not polite to talk about someone behind his back. don't care. What can I say? You guys are my only allies. That makes everyone. Let's be off. Please wait! Rowan, are you really gonna fight with your old buddy? It is my fault that Noctagall became the man he is. I am prepared to fight him when the time comes. You have our support. Don't worry, I'll be right behind you. I've got your back, too! Thank you, everyone. Don't worry, I'll pick up your dentures if you drop them, Grandpa. <laughs> Please do. What, no pithy retort? I guess that means we're all ready. Let's make our final preparations before setting off. weren't as scary as I thought they'd be. I'm just glad they didn't eat you. Huh. Too bad they didn't eat Alvin the traitor. Oh, did I forget to mention wyverns only eat children? But they don't eat their flesh. They nibble away at their souls. So gently that the kids don't even notice. While you were enjoying soaring through the sky, most of your soul could have been chewed away. That's a lie. That's total nonsense. <laughs> they make it too easy. Elise, what happened? You're tottering all over the place. I was staring at the windmill, and now the world keeps spinning.
Thank you for everything. Please return home safely, for my brother as well. You have my word, young madam. Then let's be off. I believe we just need to follow this road to reach Fenmont. Yeah, let's go. Oh dear, Jude, your clothes are torn. Please, hold still for a moment. Be done in just a jiffy here. Wow, as good as new. Thanks. Nice job. Those are Jude's best clothes, you know. He spent days fretting over exactly what to get. He bought them for his move to Fenmont because he was terrified he'd look like a country bumpkin. Hmm. That's surprisingly adorable of you. Go right ahead. Blab all my secrets. That's a fine story. Please, take good care of them. How did you get to be so good at sewing, anyway? I learned it when I was in the military. Originally, it was just so I could sew up the lips of any of my men who leaked vital information. After that, I took up needlepoint as a hobby. Oh, that's such an embarrassing story, though. Let's keep that a secret between us. <laughs> Guess that's one secret she won't spill. And the walking begins. I'm sure you can see why it wouldn't be practical to ride the Wyverns into Fenmont. You'd get spotted right away! Yes, there'd be no avoiding a battle, and civilians would get dragged into it. Yeah. 
I guess that makes sense. But is it really okay to leave the wyverns alone like that? They shouldn't have anything to fear from the monsters. Because the monsters are their friends? Oh, no, no. The wyverns may look docile, but they can be quite tough when they need to be. Monsters aren't their friends. Monsters are their food. Really? Oh, I was right to be afraid! A dead end? Ugh, I was so sure it would lead to some awesome secret place. the rhythm all the way to victory just keeps getting better Time! Dark in the wind. 
This is the power of Maxwell. There's always room for improvement. Ah, oh, what a relief. I should have known things would be fine at the manor. Yeah, Drissel really kept things together. Oh, I knew Lady Drissel would do fine. I have great faith in her strength of spirit. Then what were you so concerned about? I couldn't stop worrying that I had forgotten to shut off my bedroom lamp. You were that worried about a lamp? What if I had caused a fire? I couldn't get the thought out of my mind. I can relate to that. Once the worry sets in, it never leaves. Ever since I left home, I've been wondering if I remembered to close the lid on my bottle of dried gels. I certainly hope you did. Dried gels swell up and burst if they absorb too much moisture. Maybe I should send a letter home and ask Dad to check. We're on our way to pick a fight with a king, and this is what keeps you up at night? Come on! Attack! Be gone.
Did it suddenly get all dark? That's the night climb. We must be close to Fenmont. Thank you. 